Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to carry it on Twitch Jungle for season 12. For your runes, you're gonna to wanna to take Press Attack, Triumph with the Wackery, Coup de Grasse, Relentless Hunter, and Eyeball Collection. You can also go for Ultimate Hunter instead. That'll definitely hurt your first five levels for your ganks. And uh, you just generally won't need it. Ultimate Hunter is only super important for the late game, but in the late game, every time there's a team fight, your R will be up anyways. Because your R, when it's at max level, is around a minute or shorter cooldown. That's about the tempo of team fights, regardless. For your first item rush, you're gonna be going Kraken or Gale Force, depending on what the enemy team has against their team. I'll probably be going Gale Force. They have a lot of hard engage. As long as I can uh, stay out of their clutches, we'll win for free. After that point, you're usually gonna grab a Collector into Hurricane or Collector Bork, and then you're gonna get IE once you have 40% crit. That is the plan. On Twitch, you don't usually want to gank straight after red buff like in previous seasons because everyone expects it. And when that gank fails, the enemy jungler oftentimes will punish you very hard. There we Q auto attacked and then it couldn't see us, so it didn't chase. I'm surprised the big one could auto me from there. But uh, if you do it properly, do a little better than I did there. The big one shouldn't be able to hit you, even though the big one hit me with like a thresh auto there. So any ranged jungler can take these Krugs pretty easily because of that reason. If you start it with Smite, Bit of a freebie the one camp you want to stay away from until you are level three is going to be the raptors raptors are a pain if you're not level three or higher on twitch around this point you're going to use your q to cross over you do get a movement speed bonus while you're on it moving pretty quick then we're going to go for our wolves if you don't have smite then uh you do not want to do the krugs if you do have smite krugs are easy like i said Kill the small ones first. They actually do a lot of damage if they're allowed to hit you. And then we'll be going for our uh, blue buff. We queued for the attack speed bonus there. Level three, we'll go for this blue buff and then we can look for a gank. You can just level three rush off of three camps as long as one of those is Gromp or Krugs. In this case, I'm gonna do blue since my uh, Q's up anyways. I mean, since my smite's up, might as well. Get a big chunk of health back anyways. Darius is looking pretty juicy. That wave's a little scary. If we fight him on the wave, we're definitely going to die. Auto attack W. We want to try to kite out his max range Q. And if we do that, he's, then he's kind of screwed. Auto attack E. We have to flash auto him. He was healing like crazy. Twitch Poison's pretty weak in the earlier levels. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, and he had the, the Dorn shield. It looks like Shaco is top side. I'm gonna go for this. Once my Q's back up, we'll go mid. We need to be very careful of this Shaco. He can obliterate us. Looks like he's still top side. I'll be going mid here in a second with my Q. I wanna get this Scuttle. Looks like I really I might have scared him away, not the end of the world. Auto attack W. Jeez. Oh my. That was some nutty damage. Lethal Tempo set is no joke. I'll have to do a video on that. <laughs> he almost one shot me. Looks like the enemy bot lane took Scuttle Crab. That kind of sucks for us. That's all right though. Once you have at least one successful gank, you can look to recall on Twitch on your first back. You're looking to get Berserker Greaves if you're very, very fed. If you're not, then just build into Noon Quiver. Since I feel like we are very fed, I am going to go for the Berserker Greaves. It speeds up your clears because of the attack speed. Helps you to kite out champions and monsters, obviously, because of the movement speed bonus. And, uh, yeah, lets you run things down and lets you get away. Most champions in the game at this point won't even have Tier 1 boots. As you can see, not a single other person in the game has boots yet. So we'll be able to stay on top of them in between autos. I should have used my Q to get to this camp to utilize the movement speed from it. That was my mistake. Having trouble moving around it. Oh man. All right, this is a gank. I think they're backing right there. Oh, I just barely gotten away. That sucks. 
Dude, just half a second longer and I think we had the kill there. Unfortunate. Might be able to get set mid, doesn't look like he's paying attention. Just trying to get that last minion to dump it underneath turret. Get our W down. That should have killed the box. I don't think my E did though. It's kind of dumb. Since I had tier two boot, Shaco couldn't stay on top of me even though he had to jump on me because he had vision. He knew I was bot side. Since we're level three and up, we can easily start to take Raptors. Just get our W down on the whole camp and auto attack on each one, then use our E. We're gonna go ahead and Q in for this one. Use our refill, auto attack W. Try to keep him at max range. Auto attack E, nice, beautiful, we got the kill. Looks like Shaco's pushing more for bot side here. Normally after ganks, you do want to stay and leech the XP. In this case, I didn't want to because I figured Rengar and I really might be able to do something without me. But nine out of 10 times, after you get a successful gank, you do want to stay. Don't steal the last hits, but do get the XP. It'll help you hit level six before seven minute 30. That's something a lot of ganking junglers struggle to do if they make the mistake of not leeching minion XP. When you leech the minion XP, you both get 80% of the total. So it's actually very good. Darius doesn't even have boots yet. Should be able to wreck him here. That was a really awful W on my part. I'm gonna have to walk into him. If I had walked away, not only would his Q have healed him, it would have done a lot more damage to me and I would have taken another bleed stack and then he would have R'd me. So I messed up my W really bad there. And uh, on the bright side, the silver lining was we got his flash. So we hit level six pre seven minute 30. I'm happy with that. Your biggest counter on Twitch jungle is if the enemy jungler is invading you before you're even like level three. If that happens, the game can be very challenging. The best thing you can do is to just avoid them. So if you know they're there because you warded or kept watch, don't try to solo them. You can't really solo any jungler in the game except for super, super weak junglers like Zach. Like Zach pre six, like pretty much anything can solo him. Pretty much anything. We need to back and spend our gold here shortly. Wish Twitch's poison was a bit better. My R is up. Pantheon's doing a dive. I can do something here. I get the Q resets from the kill and assist, so now I can run this guy down. Got W for vision. Got my R on for extra damage. And he's a goner. A lot of people forget that uh, Twitch W does give vision. I don't want to steal these. I'm just trying to get them low for Caitlyn. I'm going to back away. So she doesn't feel like I'm her enemy. A lot of times your teammates will get mad. Especially since the first one I autoed actually made her miss it. All right. We can go for Gale Force now. Get a huge chunk of it. If you have a really big front line or if the enemy team has very bad engage... Go for the Kraken. It's much better for just raw shredding. However, if you're going to have to self pill for yourself, you can't beat the Gale Force. Having a free Lucian dash doesn't get much better than that. Darius is bowling. No boots. We can dominate him. Vanguard is about to die. Oh my goodness. Auto attack W. I threw a defensive W because I didn't want Rangar to die. I really low key KS'd me there. It's all right. I'll allow it. Don't mind. She can do a lot with the gold. I think Twitch can do a little bit more since he is ranged. They got an early dragon. I don't mind that at all. Twitch isn't about dragons necessarily. Yeah, it's going to suck if the enemy team gets soul. But if you get yourself ahead in the early and mid game, you should be able to fight them for the team fight soul. You really want to do camps at the multiple at a time. I would only do this if you are ahead or if you really know what you're doing. If you try to take two camps at once on Twitch, oftentimes you'll just lose all your HP and have to recall. Uh, I think my wolves just spawn in. We gotta go mitting grab this. If I had a queue up, I might actually be able to kill him. Because I have my red buff. Nice. Alright, let's see what we can do. We might have stayed. Ooh, we did. We're gonna auto attack. 
tried to auto attack W, but I muffed it. Yeah, he's dead. I muffed that a bit. I flashed a dodge his true damage. He probably still had his R, but after he missed his true damage, he knew he didn't have the damage output to kill me. I needed to uh, auto attack then W. I accidentally canceled my auto attack with my W because I didn't let the majority of it pinch off first. Darius is going for Rengar there. Darius has a massive item advantage on him. Oh, that happened. Because guess it's the CS and the two kills. Who has Darius been killing though? So we'll kill Rengar twice? That has to be it. Very surprised. So every time I gank him, it's been a kill. I'll attack W. We have vision because he's in bush. I'm dead, but I got the real one. I could tell that one was the fake one because when I hit it with an auto attack, it felt like it did too much damage. The fake Shaco takes... I believe it's somewhere around 50% higher damage output. So if you hit both of them at least once with uh, an auto attack or a spell of equivalent damage, you can quickly figure out which one's the fake one and which one's the real one as long as you are paying attention. Got Gale Force now and we'll go for a collector. Raw damage bombs. Boom gonna be girthy we're actually losing right now we have nine out of 11 kp we have three times as much kp as shaco but we're getting giga crushed right now we'll see if we can carry auto attack w if you don't need to e don't use it your e has much more range than your autos and it does have a cast time so if you e early and they don't die they might flash away and then you can't get them anymore so try to hold on to your E until you can't hit them with autos anymore since your E does heavily outrange it. That's why we didn't even use it there. There's no point. He was always in range of our autos. Cause got him with that W slow. Frickin' control words, man. Those things tick me off. Be a little careful about the Shaco. I also don't know where the enemy bot lane is. Looks like I really wants to deal with the uh, Darius. You can definitely handle him there. We just uh, Q auto attacked. Your Q has a startup. We're gonna line him up with our R. We have Red Smite on him as well. And keep kiting him. He should die from my burn. Gale Force to finish him off. The execute damage. Oh, the whole enemy team's here. That's not good. I need to get out of here. We can leech some minion XP while we do it. I got to reset anyways. Uh, I don't know if I want to reset actually. I can almost afford collector. If I could have afforded it, afforded it backing would have made sense because I could just base into red side. I think they're going to go for dragon again. I'm assuming sets by himself. I think this is a good opportunity. Oh, uh, I mean, like, where'd he go, though? Oh, there he is. Yeah, sorry, man. Oh, jeez. All right, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I don't know what's worded. They could jump on me over the wall. The Pantheon stun. They don't seem to have smite here, and Harold's eye isn't poking. I just got wrecked. I tried to walk in to smite it, but it was a very bad idea. That was my bad. Right as my smite was about to go off, they actually finished the Herald. And when you smite the Herald, it doesn't start from the Herald's edge. It's his box. It, its hit box starts from the center of its body. So it actually looked like I walked up way too close, but that's as close as my guy was walking to do it. That's a darn shame. Darn, darn shame. We'll sell a refill to get collector. We need 35 more gold. I don't really want to wait for it. Having refill isn't that useful at this point in the game. Darius is so much stronger than Rengar. Rengar shouldn't have gone for Eclipse. From from what I've seen, a lot of Rengar top players go more for uh, a little bit of tankiness. I'll attack W. 
He's dead. I didn't even have to use my Gale Force. Dude, I'm the only one who voted no. Are you serious? Are you kidding me, dude? Team's trying to give up on me. I'm gonna use... Oh, just wasted my Gale Force. I was trying to turn on my Sweeper so I could end the bush without getting wrecked. That way I could know what I'm walking into. I think they're all going for dragon right now. I can't move into my red side jungle. Yeah, they just took drag. If I move into my red side jungle, I'll get killed. In fact, I'm going to queue so I can go into their jungle without stepping on any wards. This is very winnable. Morgana, Black Shield on Fed Twitch. This is very, very winnable. Gotcha. That was huge. I was patient because I figured his red buff might be up. So after Raptors, he's likely to just queue over the wall. Sure enough. Did uh, Shaco things. He's dead. Took a few turret shots. That's all right. Yeah, we can carry this game. I can, I can feel it. Auto attack W. One auto attack on each. Straight into E. No wasted autos there. I want double red buff. This Caitlyn's kind of doo doo. If I give it to her, she's likely to just die with it. And I'm a lot more fed than she is, so. I think I can do more with it. Didn't even use my E. Instead, I just used my Gale Force. We still got the kill. Your E, you have to stand still to do it. and Gale Force, you don't. I was being very vigilant on what I needed to dodge, even though it seemed like I may not have been dodging much there. <laughs> Corky's actually uh, just... Oh. Jeez, Caitlyn. That's fine, I guess. She got a defensive trap down. I think we could have actually killed the Darius there. Maybe. He's moving pretty freaking fast. Dealing physical damage grants 20% movement speed. I think his bleed still gives that. I'm pretty sure his bleed does physical damage. 20 movement speed's a lot. That's like just no having an extra pair of normal boots. Uh, at this point, we would want to go for Hurricane into IE. Or how much could... We already have 40% now. Let's just go IE. We couldn't get the full IE value. We, need, we don't even need AOE damage, bro. If we can kill just one person, it's worth it. Hurricane's nice. You just don't need it right now. Set. What are you doing, bruh? Killed him out of the air. Got him. Auto attack E reset, baby. Never cancel your auto. I don't know where they these guys are. Okay, there's Corky. Darius is top. My two teammates should be able to defend turret against Darius while I come over here. I need my Q up so I can kill the Corky. He's going to be, be greedy and he's going to have a teammate come down here to try to help him. Uh, who spawned in? Because it was Pantheon. He was up first. Dude, where is this guy? Yeah, Pantheon's going to R for this. I don't even have to R for this. Corky walked into some... Whoa, all right. Free kills. I'll take it. W for the vision. Red smite him. Gale Force behind him. Didn't even need to use my E. <laughs> Gale Force is actually so broken. The reposition on it is ridiculously valuable versus melees. Ah, oh, please let me get this blue buff. Please, please, please. I have red smite. I can smite it for the healing. Oh, this Morgana R is... Oh, she broke her she broke her stun there. I got to go help Irelia. She literally broke her tether. She walked too far away. That was so free, too. Got him. I think I live. Holy crap, that hurt. He didn't get his fifth stack of bleed on me. If I had my Gale Force, I could have completely dodged his Q or a Sook, either or. Big Morgana Snare, Morgana W, set doesn't have the shield. I think it's a kill. Nice, beautiful. Now that we got the IE, 
I think we should go Bloodthirster. Uh, Hurricane's good on Twitch. It's better if you have people peeling for you, if you have a Lulu or a Morgana who's trying to play around you a lot. I feel like I don't really have anyone peeling for me to where it's not going to be that useful. These guys are just, like, shoving up. It's like they forget that they are winning, yes. But it's not in a way to where they can push like that. Darius is top. This is an 80 Shaco. His boxes aren't scary in terms of damage output. I don't want to walk into the fear. They're going to give us this dragon. That's huge. Darius is top. Darius does not have TP. He should not be split pushing. He's probably pushing into my jungle to get camps. Smited that. Yeah, set. You can't be doing this, buddy. We're going to Gale Force away. And yeah, that's what happens. He can't be doing that. So much damage i gotta reset <laughs> we're actually gonna carry this it's the power of 80 twitch jungle 80 twitch jungle way out scales ap twitch ap twitch is usually better for the first two items and pre first item but once twitch gets the items rolling two items or more did Rengar just int what happened there it almost looked intentional not so fast, not so fast. Got kited. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be frustrating playing a melee champion. You just can't get your hands on the range champ. So I love playing range champs, man. I know I get frustrated when I'm that melee champion. Once I get my bloodthirst, I'm gonna be so much stronger. I wish it wasn't chemtech. Chemtech Dragon. That's one of my least favorite ones. The stats it gives are only situational. It only helps if the enemy champion that you only gets enemy champions, right? So only in combat against enemy champs. And oh, I guess this says enemies. That could include non champions, but it only helps if they have more current HP than you. So even against minions and monsters, that's normally not going to help you. And against champions, it only helps you if they currently have more current HP than you. I assume that's percent based. Otherwise, that would only be good against tanks. So if you have 90% HP and they have 100%, you'll deal a little bit of extra damage while they have that increased HP over you. It's just, I don't like it. All the other dragons give consistent bonus. That's like always helping. Got him. He got chunked, boy. Gotcha. We're doing some sneaky maneuvers. <laughs> he shouldn't have been there. I can't believe Darius is going in. I don't think it's going to pan out. I really blocks the Q or dodges it with her Q to where Darius can only hit her with the hilt of his axe rather than the tip. The hilt does almost no damage and doesn't give him heal and doesn't apply hemorrhage. That's why when Darius Qs, if you know he's... You can't get out of it. You got to just walk into them. That's how you beat them. Sometimes you got to be willing to bite the bullet. Oh, that Morgana Black Shield was spicy. Oh, the Q resets. We turn around. Rets my auto attack and he's out of here. <laughs> my R is almost back up. He's going to be looking to use this stupid little package here. I'm on a big shutdown. I should just reset. Yeah, I got to get out of here. This is too risky. Corky shouldn't be able to do this, right? Caitlyn R is at like point blank range. Holy smokes. To be fair, I do think she started it and then he dashed in still. The Q and the recall, before your Q actually goes into effect, you can input really any command, whether it's a casting spell, auto attack, or recall, so you can be invisible. All right, we got Bloodthirster, and now we'll get the Hurricane. We are full mass here. Full build Twitch, 25 minutes deep. Sheesh, that is early. 25 minute absolute full build.
could technically sell our boots for a better item. That's a double. Oh, there's Darius. You flash onto the Rangar, you're on the wrong guy. Oh, I say that, but holy sweet baby Jesus, he healed a lot. I definitely could have kited that out a little smarter. Since Darius had popped Rengar like a grape, I, I knew he was going to have his increased movement speed from applying full hemorrhage. I think I call it bloodlust or something. I forget, but he had extra movement speed. He got to me so fast. He didn't have flash. Damn, boy. We might have to get some armor pen here. Might sell our boots for some Lord Doms. That would be decent. I can't believe I just pop like that. I need to save my R for the Darius. I, wa I wanted to use against the Pantheon and Shaco since they lined themselves up with such a beautiful lining. Darius is the only one who can kind of pop me like that. And I can't kill him in just three autos because he's stacking armor. I might even sell Runons. Runons for armor pen. I think that would be fine. Q lasts for 14 seconds. Bye bye. <clears throat> oh, Pantheon's typing, brah. Pantheon's a mean lean type and machine. Shaco's trying to get away. I'll scout him out. We'll find him with Oracles as long as he actually tries to run away. He's going to be a little rile. Just kill him. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> he's like he's going down a water slide. Still have our Gale Force. Auto attack W. Yeah, it's GG's. AD Twitch Jungle is actually an insane carry champ. I would definitely recommend Gelforce over Kraken Slayer 9 out of 10 times. Gelforce lets you self-pill so well. And if you don't have it, you, you legit just can't outplay most champions because they'll they'll dash point and click on you. Down goes Darius. We could probably get Shaco here. He can't kill me. He's just trying to kill someone before he dies we look we think we got with the aoe from our hurricane while we we're hitting the minions could probably get corky i really might try to end yeah i got it nice anyways if you guys enjoyed this 80 twitch 1v9 jungle guy don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we had a nice little lead. Then when we take a look at damage taken, our damage taken honestly wasn't even that bad. We were up there with the rest of them. That means we we're taking a lot of aggro. People are focusing us. Then when we take a look at healing done, we had the most healing done in the game because life still is balanced. I can confirm. Taking a look at runes, Presley Attack did a whopping 4,000 bonus damage. Triumph healed us for nearly 2,000, gave us 820 bonus gold. We finished our alacrity pre-12 minute at 940, very fast. Coup de Grasse did nearly 1,500 damage. Wow, that's really high. And uh, we had all five Relentless Hunter stacks, giving us 13% bonus movement speed. And we had our eyeball eyeballs collected. All in all, Twitch Jungle... He's very, very risky, but the reward is super, super high, particularly if you go Gelforce because you can self-peel.